Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're in Port Angeles, Washington, and we are going to learn all about these breakaway cables, what they do, how to install them, and how to wire them. So follow with me on this journey. We've all seen these things on the side of a trailer, on fifth wheels, under the pin box, and uh, they've got this breakaway cable thing. What is up with this? What do they do? So on this installment, I want to go into a little bit more detail on, on how important they are, how you're properly supposed to install them, and how to wire them and what they do. So that's where they go. I'll pan out here. So they're on the tongue on this trailer. This is my service trailer. It doesn't matter, but anybody's trailer would be the same way. It could be on the left side or the right side. This one happens to be on the right side. Um, so let's dig in deeper and understand how they work. Okay, so what I've done is it's just loosely screwed there. I've, I'm, this is the part that's going to be attached to the tow vehicle and I've stripped this is a brand new one um, but the reason I'm doing this is because my old one here's the old bracket um, I was doing a pre-trip and um, it's always good to test this this is kind of an important safety feature so I your homework assignment is to go test yours it's a $16 part it's not worth destroying everybody on the highway because your trailer broke away um, so uh, $16 $17 part plus or minus and um, so it's part of your pre-trip. You pull this out. And on this particular day, I went to pull mine out, and the whole thing just fell apart. So it's time to put a new one on there. I figured, well, here, let me take you on the journey on fixing mine. So here's the wire. I've stripped the ends of it, and I've put it on my meter. And what I'm going to do is put my meter on um, uh, the, the beep mode, continuity tester, okay? And in that mode, when I touch these two wires together, it's going to beep, okay? So... Uh, polarity does not matter, so let me plug these back in here. All right, so we're plugged in, nothing there. When I pull this out, zero resistance. So this is nothing more than a switch. Um, it's really all it is. But instead of like a house switch or something where you have a toggle switch, when this pulls out, you're, you're, there's contacts inside and this plastic piece keeps those contacts separated. All right, enough from you. And when this pin pulls out, they touch, thereby connecting these two wires. Why is that important? We'll get into that next. Okay, so here's, here's a scenario. Here's my trailer ball, here's my hitch. Uh, let me plug this back in. This connects to my tow vehicle. Um, different ways. Sometimes what people will do is during their pre-trip, they're already going to unplug this. So they'll unplug this, loop this around something, loop it back through, making a, a lasso. Okay, so now it's, you, you don't want to put it on the tow chain. It needs to really be attached to the tow vehicle. Something solid, something stout. Um, on mine, I hook it up to these eye bolts down here. And uh, so here's the scenario. Let's say that, uh, I don't know if this is really in the shot, but, but I've got a pin, so this is a receiver hitch, and I've got a pin holding on my weight distribution assembly here. Let's say that, that this cotter pin came out, or somehow the pin fell out, and now, who knows, this whole receiver could fall out of, of the truck, okay? That's something that could happen. Um, somebody, I've even been in a vehicle when this happened, um, there's supposed to be a latch that goes through this and I have seen where people don't do that and this thing might flip open. I know the trailer boat kind do and uh, this thing could bounce, 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 bounce right off. Hey kitty cat. Um, so it could fail here, it could fail here. These trailer balls, it's on with a certain amount of torque underneath. The trailer ball could get loose. So many things could happen in this connection point that could fail. And it's this failing, it's attached to the truck. Do not attach it to the hitch or anything because that might be a point of failure. So make sure this is attached to the, something solid on your tow vehicle. So if this gets pulled out, those contacts get made, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what those contacts being made does electrically. Now on my service trailer, I got one of these battery boxes and I've got two six volt batteries in it. There's one of them right there. I've, took, I've taken that battery out to give me some space to, to show what's going on in here and also for me to get the wiring done, okay? From our breakaway switch, there are two black wires that leave that switch. And here they are right here. I've got them coming in 
from the bottom. Now you can ignore all these other wires. That is not blood on me. That's that uh, anti-corrosion compound. So I'm not bleeding. It's just this sticky blood stuff or sticky battery stuff. So here's my two wires. Now I want you to ignore all these other wires. It's just going to make it confusing. Okay. So let's follow this black wire this black wire only we're going to come up here and look it's connected to my battery plus there's my plus right there he's connected to my battery plus so one side of my contacts so that pin in my breakaway switch is, hol is holding these contacts apart when i pull it out bam they slam closed so if this pin is the black wire that's got 12 volts on it he's going to make contact with this pin so where or this wire so where does this wire go so We've always got 12 volts sitting on one. The pin gets pulled out, they make contact. Now I'm feeding 12 volts back on this one. So that's this other black wire. We know where one goes. So this other black wire comes up and he is going to be tied into my brake circuit. Okay, very simply. Now, let's start with the trailer. On my trailer, this red cased cable has a black and a white in it. Now this is the one that goes to my brakes. I have four brakes on my trailer, so it daisy chains. Each brake's gonna give us about three ohms of resistance. So when I put my meter on there, and that might be a good test to do, actually. We might do that. I might put my, um, uh, we'll breathe amps and ohms going through this wire. I expect to have somewhere in the neighborhood of three, 12 ohms plus or minus at full brake power. Uh, so we'll get into that maybe towards the end of this video. That'll be a fun thing to do. But you'll notice that my black wire is wire nutted to my black trailer brake and the blue tow vehicle wire. Now, right in here, this is the other end of my seven-way pigtail that comes directly, that connects directly to my tow vehicle. And on mine, blue, and on most of them, blue is the brake wire. Okay, when this wire gets energized with anywhere from zero to 12 volts, it's varying. The harder you push on your brakes, you have those brake controllers that give you a varying voltage out the end of them, and that's going to energize your, your brakes. Um, I've got another video, go look for it, where I repack my bearings, and I talk about the brakes, and I even do a demonstration on that video of um, giving the brakes 12 volts right here, and you'll see how the brake creates a magnet, and I talk about how all that works. So go look for that video on repacking the bearings. So when when these wires make and I get 12 volts on this one, this is the 12 volts right here and it's going to energize my brakes, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, let me put my other battery back in, zoom everybody back out a little bit, put my other battery back in, make my connections and then we'll, the next part of this is I'm gonna spin a wheel. I've got it jacked up already. I'm gonna spin a wheel, I'm gonna pull the pin and we're gonna see the brakes lock up that wheel. How very exciting, so stay tuned for that. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring you around the other side and I'm gonna spin a wheel and you're gonna watch that wheel spin. I'm gonna come running back over here and I'm gonna pull this pin out and you're gonna see that tire just immediately stop as if the brakes were engaged, okay? So let me take you over there and show you what's going on. So I'm gonna spin this tire, got it up off the ground. I'm gonna spin it, go pull that cable and watch what happens. See how fast I feel like go 60 miles an hour. Here we go. Did you see that? It doesn't get any better than this, folks. So I pulled the cable. This is locked up. I I can go back. I can't go forward at all. It's totally engaged. So um, that's what a breakaway cable does. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's button this up. As promised, I'm going to do that last little test before we button this up. And um, I want to see how many amps are going to each brake caliper, each brake rotor or whatever. So we know that each brake is going to consume three amps. So there's four brakes, so three times four is 12. So we expect to see 12 or plus or minus 12 amps going to my four brakes, three amps per brake. So let me, it's zero. Okay, so I'm at zero and I'm grabbed around my plus wire right here. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pull this out. And you guys watch that while I pull that. Okay, I pulled it and we are at 14 point, yeah, about 14 amps. Uh, don't worry about that negative. That just means that my clamp on meter is upside down with respect to that wire there. So that's 13. So, hey, we're doing great. Each 
brake is getting the appropriate three amps. So let's say that if one of my brakes was not working and I did this, then I would probably get um, nine amps. If only two of them was working, if, if you have a trailer that only has two brakes, then you would get six. If one, so each brake is supposed to consume about uh, three. Now, we do know that those brakes get hot. They get really hot. On my video that I did where I did the repacking of the bearings that I referenced earlier, we were reading uh, 130 degrees on that brake, and that was with it cycling two seconds on, two seconds off. So right now, these things are getting hot. So, But still, look, 12, 12 amps. So let me plug this back in. There we go. And we're back down to zero again. So that was kind of exciting. So there's another little thing you can do. If you have a meter that reads DC amperage, you can easily test to see if all your brakes are working when you're doing your pre-trip. Okay, folks, we're at the end of the journey. Um, that wasn't so bad. And uh, usually putting these things on is a really quick operation. I wanted to go into a little bit more detail to kind of help you out, understand it. So if this was helpful to, do to you or any of the videos that we make are helpful to you, subscribe to them, thumb them up, share them with your friends. And from Port Angeles, Washington, this is Darren saying, Happy Camper Say My RV Works. See you down the trail. Bye.